Quality School in Houston, Texas. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Middle school students from Alhadi School of Accelerative Learning in Houston, Texas, won the top prize in the International Future City competition. You know, we had so many challenges, coronavirus and following the CDC guidelines, as well as like some of our team members attending school online and some going in person and managing our schedules was all important factors, but thankfully it all paid off. Some of our team members also contracted COVID-19. That was a big problem, so we, had, we skipped a few. Uh, weeks of um, work too, so we had to catch up. Each year, Future City, a project-based learning program, invites middle school students from around the world to create a scale model of a city of the future with the idea of making the world a better place. This year's theme, Living on the Moon, challenged students in 37 U.S. regions and teams from China, Canada, and Nigeria to design and build a futuristic city on the moon. We wanted to make a city that gave citizens everything they needed and more. We also wanted to make sure that like in our city, it can rely on the resources that the moon is given instead of like having to rely on resources back in Earth. 42 teams made it to the finals and one of the largest engineering challenges in the US, which engages more than 45,000 students every year. Discover E, an engineering outreach group, has been running the competition for 29 years. I am always impressed every year um, by the depth of research that our teams do, by how knowledgeable they become about the specific topic at hand, and how they become experts in it. Our student participants learn all about the ins and outs of engineering and city design and everything that goes into planning and building and maintaining a city, but they also learn how to work together as a team and their confidence just grows by leaps and bounds. Working on the projects can also inspire the students about the future. I can take many deliverables from this project and use them in the future, such as the engineering design process. I personally want to be a lawyer and one of the things you can do as, as a lawyer is going to the environment. So this definitely taught me so much. So if I do choose to become an environmental lawyer, I have so much information. We often hear from teams who haven't ever participated that they didn't realize that there was so there's so much variety within the field of engineering. They thought you could be an engineer. They didn't know you could be an environmental engineer or an agricultural or civil engineer. In addition to feeling empowered, the winning team receives the grand prize of $7,500 for their school's STEM program and a trip to space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. Julie Tabo, VOA News.